Hello everyone, Sherlock Phantom Warren here, and as you may have read by the title, today we're doing another movie rant. And this rant comes from a childhood movie of mine, Kangaroo Jack, a 2003 film starring Jerry O'Connell, aka that pervy guy from Piranha 3D, and his partner in crime throughout the film, Anthony Anderson, aka the guy from Scary Movie 3 that's best friends with Kevin Hart. And this story revolves around two best friends, Charlie and Lewis, who have become friends solely based on the fact that Charlie's stepbrother Frankie almost caused him to drown and Lewis saved his life. And as the two grow up, their friendship continues into adulthood. As Lewis seems to always have some scheme or trick up his sleeve that he's always dragging Charlie into. And as the two wind up in a yet another mess situation, they are called upon to deliver money as a favor for Charlie's mob boss father. But along the way, Charlie and Lewis run into some problems when they accidentally hit a random kangaroo with their car while driving in the desert. And decide, as any normal person would, they stop and take pictures with the presumed dead animal. Anyway, in the long and short, the kangaroo ends up waking up and runs away in panic. But just as things seem alright, Lewis realizes that the jacket he had placed on the kangaroo during the pictures now has the money they needed to deliver. Thus, the guys are on the run as they try to chase, tranquilize, and even capture the kangaroo in order to get the money and save their lives. And apart from the boring plot of this movie, the beginning and middle aren't even the worst parts for me. Well, except the fact that they're boring and a waste of time. But my biggest problems come near the end of the movie, where Charlie and Lewis make up, and Charlie tells Lewis he is always making his life interesting. I call BS. This man got you into a whole mess and doesn't even understand the fact that he's not only messing with your stability, but he's also not sorry about getting Charlie into bad situations. And he just acts so manipulative all the time. With the whole, Charlie I saved your life so do this, and Charlie I saved your life so do that. As well though, I'd like to rant about Charlie and Frankie's relationship as step-siblings. Now we can't just ignore the fact that Frankie basically tried to kill his brother by throwing a ball into the water knowing Charlie couldn't swim. And even if Charlie didn't know that fact about his brother, he still did nothing to help him when Charlie was drowning. Causing me to think there is a lot of trust issues there for Charlie, but no. Later on we see as Frankie shows up and says he quote unquote is there to help Lewis and Charlie out during a standoff with Mr. Smith, Charlie believes him and of course Frankie turns on him which we didn't see coming. All in all though, this movie was a complete waste of time and I know I might be being a little harsh on a kids movie from the early 2000s. But still, I mean, let's think about this. First off, let's look at some of the other awesome movies being put out around the same time. Finding Nemo, Brother Bear, as far as non-animated ones, Holes, Cat in the Hat, yikes. Look, the point still stands. This is a bad movie and was, in my opinion, not worth revisiting. Anyway, that's all I've got for today, but feel free to let me know your opinions about this movie in the comments below, and be sure to like and subscribe for more. But for now, this is Sherlock Phantom 1 signing off. <laughs>